Hello, my name is Bill, and this is Six Round Studio. Today we're putting the first color coat on the buttstock of the 1905 Ithaca. So while you guys were away, if you remember, I talked about that white epoxy line that I had left um, from, from gluing this, this panel on. So using some basic uh, faux techniques, uh, using some finish and some, some uh, artist oils, uh, I went in and using a sharp or a pointy brush, I went in and uh, drew color around that, that white epoxy line. And the idea was to, again, blend it in and make it go away. So that first coat, all it was, all it was, was just to simply blend out that that white line. Uh, the the real faux work begins later on when I have to begin to draw in grain lines to, to blend in the, the two pieces of wood. But I wanted to get that done before I put the first color coat on. And that's that's today's episode. We're gonna put that first first color coat on. So I've mixed up some of my secret sauce and uh, going to add color to that. So what I want to do is to just simply at this point darken darken the wood. Uh, it, it's really it's really kind of pale and kind of light. So I'm I'm gonna uh, the first color coat isn't going to be a coat that that turns this sort of that traditional red. It's going to be just trying to darken this um, this walnut so it, so it looks a little bit more like walnut. Uh, I'm going to use simple um, um, powdered, powdered pigments on this. Um, not going to use a whole lot. So I'm going to drop in just just a few few particles. And I'm using both brown and I'm going to use um, a little bit of black as well. Again, my, my objective is simply to darken this. So in essence, I'm making my own stain. I may have to darken this a little bit, a little bit more, but let's just, let's just see what this looks like. Yeah, I definitely need to go a little bit darker. So I've chosen to add uh, a little bit of red in. Um, walnut tends to have a reddish tone or tint to it. And this coloring, this brown and this black, hasn't ha haven't really brought out that that red ever, red overtone that is typical of of the um, of walnut. So I'm going to add just a dab. Add it into the finish. Yeah, still not where I need to be, but we'll do this in. I mentioned in the last video that we're going to do this in multiple color coats. So let's get that first coat on. The idea is always to do to do thin coats. Yeah, that's a much much nicer, much richer color. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you that before I started this. I did have to go over it with some a sandpaper. Did have some some uh, sandpaper marks, so that I went back over it again with the with the um, with the hundred grit and then uh, 180 and then 220. So I did have some scratches, and I did need to get those scratches out. That thin base coat really does have a way of popping those scratches out. Uh, 
that's much richer. It's much darker. Much nicer to look at. All right. All right. Um, gonna let this set up for a couple hours, three hours, then we'll come back and we'll put a, another or second color coat the same color. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So the color coat has been drying for about eight hours now. And I'm gonna put on a second coat. One of the problems I had is uh, I didn't get that rich red color that I was looking for. So uh, I started out with a, a fairly tame red. And I'm going to step it up a little bit. I'm gonna to go to something called crimson red. Uh, crimson is it's red. It's really red. So I'm going to add that in. And it'll be the same thing. We're going to add in just, just a small amount of it. It doesn't take a lot. And we'll mix that in with, with the finish. Now the thing I'm trying to accomplish is I'm trying to get close to this, this red orange. And that may take that may take a little bit. I'm not ever sure I'm ever gonna get exactly that same red orange from the original. But I definitely want to get it somewhere close to that. Again, this is just just a standard artist oil. Um, nothing special about it. you're doing any kind of coloring it's unless you're spraying stain or something along that lines which I'm not doing uh, you, you don't try to go for the whole color all at once uh, you try to build it in sort of layer by layer I was taught this by probably what Somebody who I think is one of the best in the business. You've actually met him on this channel before. And that darkens that really nice. Gives that a nice rich tone. Because we're not up in the back of this thing yet. No, the camera's not going to see this, and that's really too bad. But you can, you can see the richness coming out in this. You can see the red showing itself. That really brought the richness out in this stock. That was that's what it needed. <clears throat> um, you can start to see that orange, that red orange, starting to show up in the in the color. All right, so that's two color coats, and that's beginning to fill in those pores as well. So that sheen is starting to come up. Um, so we've got uh, five, uh, we've got seven coats on this right now. I'm going to uh, continue to put um, a couple more color coats on it. Again, trying to build in that richness. The next, the next thing we do on the stock is I'm going to start doing that faux painting that we've talked about, trying to, trying to bring out those grain, that grain color. And I want to hide, hide more. I mean, right now uh, the, the patches. They're, they're already more difficult to see, but I want to do some more faux painting, 
painting on this and I want to bring more of that grain out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I am trying to get to 5,000 subs uh, by the end of the year. Uh, I think I can do it. Uh, we need about 450-ish more, more subs, and I think I can do that. That's my goal. Uh, the subs and the comments, make a comment if you haven't. The subs and the comments tell YouTube that this is a channel worth watching, worth showing, so I really appreciate both the subs and the comments so please feel free to do that ring the bell so you get notified the next time i post a video short video this time guys i will see you in the next video